What's up guys and welcome to Thrift Talk. This is the first episode, so thank you guys so much for joining. If you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button. So what we're doing with Thrift Talk is we're taking a spin-off of Gary V's Trash Talk. Hey guys, it's Gary Vaynerchuk and welcome to episode one of Trash Talk, where I talk about trash and the flip life of how you take that trash and turn it into cash. <laughs> what we're doing is we're gonna be going to thrift stores and to show you guys that it's possible to flip products online to make a profit. I'm gonna show you the ins and outs, I'm gonna show you the journey, I'm gonna show you how much time it takes, I'm gonna show you everything from posting it to shipping it to selling it, everything that you guys need to know is we're gonna do in this. But this is gonna be more of a vlog series, so please comment below if you have any questions. Um, we're just trying to give you guys some information. I honestly didn't think that this was a possibility until I started doing it. Um, so follow along for the journey, let's get into it. Let's talk about this for a minute. Three dollars. Three dollars, three dollars, one ninety nine. So in total, we spent eleven dollars. And you ready for how much they go for? Seventeen fifty. Put it on the screen. Boom. Twelve dollars times two. Put it on the screen. Boom. Sixteen ninety nine. Put it on the screen. Boom. Thrift talk, baby. You got to be out here, boy. If you ain't out here, you ain't doing it. Bro, it's raining, I don't care. We still here at Goodwill. I don't know if you can see, but Goodwill. We here, baby, let's make it happen. So boom, let's get started with the first one. We got the Funko Pop Wolverine, sold for $12.99. Put it on the screen, boom. All right, next coming up, we got the Care Bears. Bro, I'm telling you, people laugh. Care Bears, bro, put it on the screen, $17.96, boom. I mean, it's happening, man, we're here. Those are just two of the what let's see how many items we got we have those two three four five i want to say we have seven or eight products um and i haven't looked up the value of some of them so you're going to see my reaction for the first time looking them up when we get home here in a little bit but 24 dollars and two of them already are at 29 we still have seven more things to go so stay tuned now let's get to me at home reacting to the price for the first time let's go all right i really want to bring y'all through some of the stuff now remember we got, how much do we pay? $24, we paid $24 for all this stuff. This one, we already talked about these two. So y'all already know, don't mind the new room, we just moved. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all some of the things we got, man, keeping them a mystery. We got this Happy Valentine's Day mug, which has some potential, especially because it's that time of year now. I think that one's gonna do well. This one, not gonna lie, I already looked it up. I mean, it's in really good condition, um, which I'm super shocked about. Um, $10. Um, haven't looked up the Valentine's Day thing. I did look up this Vegas sign, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, looking at about 10 bucks um, to sell. We have these two hats that we got. We got this bear that honestly, we might combo it up with this and make it a little package deal for um, someone's significant other. That would be cool. Um, what else we got? I Man, honestly, I think one of the coolest things, I think one of the coolest things is like, you'll get stuff and then you'll forget what you get. And then like, you'll look and you'll see. Oh yeah, we got the, uh, the candy cane. I thought that one was pretty cool. Haven't looked that one up yet. I know there's a Superman thing in here. Not gonna lie, I ran out of money. I think these would have been a huge hit. The one uh, was Munich. There was three of them. So I got Frankfurt. Um, Munich one had a crack in it, and the other one just, I never heard of the name. It was like something. But I've heard of Frankfurt. Frankfurt, might be saying that wrong, but nice like beer mug. Um, that one's cool. And then this one is gonna be the Superman DC Marvel mug, which I thought was really cool. Um, you know, you can never go wrong with name brands. So now let's let's go to the computer and look everything up. Um, how I do it, at least for me. Hold on a second. We gotta raise the chair a little bit. So what I do for me is I'll go to the camera. I'll take a picture of it. Uh, nothing similar. Yeah, that's really cool. I really like the stitch. We need to find that. Um, nothing similar. So, 
I gotta be honest, this is one of the first times this has happened to me. Usually, you know, I get pretty lucky um, and there's some similar things, you know. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll find something, I'll go sold automatically. Um, look, there's something like this, uh, sold for nine bucks, super similar. Um, you know, that could, that could definitely work as far as, you know, eight bucks, nine bucks. bucks. I paid a dollar for it. Um, after fees, you're looking at five bucks profit on a mug. Um, so we'll screenshot that. That one's cool. I want to I show you guys like an actual. Um, let's, Superman has to work, so we're gonna we're gonna re-screenshot. We're gonna re-screen record this. But uh, Superman mug. I saw this. Ah, didn't see this little you know, indent on it, but still, I mean, even with that, take a couple prices off of whatever we find. So let's go home, take a picture of it. Superman mug. So now I see it, you're looking at it as I'm looking at it. You see it, then as long as I see it, usually if I don't see it, I'll take another picture of it. Uh, maybe get a better shot of it, maybe get more of the full detail in it. But when I do get it, when it pops up, I don't ever look at those prices. I only look at sold. And then look at that, $14.95, $6.50. A couple that were priced for $15, but they took the best offer. Um, man, I didn't see this little, it has like a little thing on it. But, you know, let's call it seven, right? Let's call it six, seven dollars. Someone who's a Superman fan uh, maybe just wants to drink it. Um, that's real upsetting, but you know, again, besides this little indent, I mean, it is basically a perfect mug. Um, inside's good, down, ba ba uh, underneath is good. Um, so let's call it seven bucks. Realizing that we only spent $24, and let's say between just the Care Bear and that, that's already close to, if not at 40, 50, 60, just those four items, even if we took half the price, of what they're listed on, we're still in the profit. So this is just all profit right here. I mean, you turn 22 or $24 into almost a hundred. I mean, I'm probably gonna get a little more than just 10 for those four. Um, but again, I mean, even if you take half of it, you turn $24 into roughly 60, you know, let's call it 110, 120, whatever it comes out to. And you make 50, $60 if you take half, to turn 25 into 60, 24 into 60 is crazy. Um, but obviously we're gonna get a lot more than just the $60. So, I mean, th this is thrift talk, baby. You only, I only had $20 in my pocket, $24 in my pocket. Um, and this is what you can make happen. And we had a thrift store that was closed today, so we could have potentially gotten more. Um, but I mean, dude, this is really what it is. I mean, this is so much fun. Like if y'all haven't tried it, Give it a shot, get 10, 20 bucks in your pocket, go to Goodwill, go to Salvation Army. Um, there's uh, some places that um, have stuff in bins, like that was the one place I went to today, that was completely new territory for me. Um, as of right now, I mean, 90% of my stock has been Goodwill. Um, like all this is Goodwill. The bears, the bear and the Funko Pop, uh, and the, the, those four things, that we talked about in the beginning, the Minnie Mouse Cup, the Vegas sign, those are only things that are from um, something else that's not Goodwill. And then I have a couple other pieces from Salvation Army, but you're talking about 90% uh, of my stuff is from Goodwill. You know, dollar mugs, unless they're like really nice. Um, you're talking about dollar hats, you're talking about $5 t-shirts. Um, I went to Goodwill. My biggest, my biggest pickup, I'll show y'all. My biggest pickup by far, has been cool thing about the new house too is that we got I got some storage space so I can get some more stuff. So walk in the Goodwill. I'm on my way to a gig. So for those of you who don't know, um, yes, I make content, uh, but I also do videography and photography on the side. Kind of just you know, it's my little hustle. I do some social media for businesses and all that too. But I was on my way to a video gig and uh, I looked up Goodwill. And, you know, we, we hit a couple on the way down, got some cool stuff. And, and I was getting really bummed out because, I mean, it wasn't like a huge profit it was going to bring. It was probably like 20, 30 bucks. And I was like, you know, I got like 40 bucks left in my pocket. Walk in the Goodwill and I see this beautiful Tom Brady jersey. And it's behind the counter. And I go, 
I go, is that jersey for sale? And he goes, yeah, it is. And I'm like, how much is it? And he looked, he looked at it and he goes, uh, it has a tag on it for 15. I said, without even looking it up, I said, I'll take it. It has sold this one. Again, this one has a little stain on it, but that's easy. I can come out, probably get a little, you know, tied stick, whatever. It's sold for $150, $160. Um, so I have it listed for 140. Even if I got 115 for it, hundred dollar profit. I mean, it, it really is that simple. Just when you think you're not going to find anything, you find stuff, man. Uh, th this has definitely been the best pickup so far. Um, but yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm excited for this journey. You know, not just to make the content for you guys and and, and all the other stuff we're doing, um, but really to just kind of learn more because I know nothing. I walk in and there's I'm probably leaving hundreds of dollars on the table just on stuff that I don't know. Like a big thing I need to get into is books. Um, never really been a big learn, like a, a big reader. So I definitely need to get better at books because um, I know there's some money in there and I know Salvation Army has them for like 20 cents a book. So I mean, the profit margin, it, it would be crazy. Even if you got a $5 book, you pay 20 cents for it. So there's definitely things I need to learn. Uh, sneakers and shoes, definitely. And, uh, and, and some Christmas, but I've been pretty good. I have a couple Christmas items. Um, I mean, should we pick this one up today? I just, that one just caught my eye. Um, another thing I really want to give you, and this is a huge piece of advice. Look for stuff that's cool, right? And that obviously can sell, but also look for things that catch your eye. Because I've noticed looking at some stuff that has sold on eBay, it might not be valuable, but for someone it might just pop and they might pay $10 for it. But a cool thing too is if it pops for you, and let's say you hold on to it for five, six months, whatever, not really going to be the case, especially if you have a smaller selection and you promote it and all that. Worst case, it doesn't, it doesn't sell in five, six months. Now you have a nice mug that you like that you can keep in your closet and you only paid a dollar for it, not your closet, in your kitchen, uh, in your kitchen and you only paid a dollar for it. So um, don't just go in there and look for things of, you know, obviously look at things of value like this. Like, I mean, this, this is, this is a, a 44. This is a medium. This is a small medium. I wear at least an XL, 2X, um, you know, an XL on a good day. So yeah, I would never wear this, but I just know how popular Tom Brady is, but something like, uh, let me show you something. You know, two perfect examples, right? I thought this was cool. Um, you know, it's emotion, uh, expressions of a stormtrooper. And I thought it was really cool. It has two different sides, a whole bunch of different emotions. Um, if this doesn't sell, I have a buddy, His when his birthday comes around, I'm gonna give it to him. Um, it was a dollar. This one, mom, the boss, right? If, if, if this doesn't sell by Mother's Day, I'm gonna give it to my mother, it was a dollar. Um, you know, obviously with a nice car to make it pretty and special, but you know, the case is, is that you don't have to just buy to sell. Yes, buy to sell stuff, but also buy stuff. And if it doesn't sell in six months, realize you paid a dollar for it. And the other five items you got in that shopping, uh, excuse me, in that shopping process, you sold for 50 bucks. And now if you sell this dollar mug, it doesn't matter because you're already in the profit. So. Um, just think about it like that too. That's kind of what I always go into. I always try to get one thing, if not two things, that really appeal to me. Um, you know, because it, it, it is hard to like try to do all this and then expect um, things to just sell. But it's easier to like, okay, listen, if this doesn't sell in six months, cool, I can do X, Y, and Z with it. So just another piece of advice for me. Um, but now let's go to, I, I wash the mugs. Every time I get a mug, I wash them. I put the hats stuffed animals um, and anything I really can in the dryer. I feel like for me, I'd want it to be nice and clean when I got it. Um, so I, I do the same thing for other people. So now let's go to the kitchen. Try to dry them off too, before you know we put them in the closet. We got a storage space now too. Um, with the house, I have an office space. We got, you know, a closet that we put everything in. And it's been a blessing, man. 2024 is gonna be a great year. Um, so while I'm washing this, man, I'm gonna put my eBay link, my eBay store link below. If y'all like anything, please, um, you know, go check it out. Also subscribe here. Um, looking to do some cool things, man, besides thrifting. Um, you know, we don't just do thrifts. We do food reviews, public interviews, reaction videos. And, um, I don't know exactly when we're going to launch thrift talk. So this may or may not be out before, um, or after we rent out the 
Crawdad Stadium uh, up in Hickory to do a Nerf battle. We're gonna be doing 15 kids versus 15 adults um, up at the Hickory Crawdad Stadium. And, uh, you know, we're just really trying to make as much content um, as possible. If you guys want to see something, um, comment below, let us know, man. Hit us up on, on Instagram, hit us up on all, any of these platforms that we're on. We're on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, obviously here on YouTube. So, you know, if there's something y'all wanna see, man, we can make that happen. But now we have to go list things. So I'm, I'm gonna walk y'all through the listing process. I'm gonna walk y'all through um, all that, what it looks like, and you know, then we'll kind of just recap this video and give a total of, you know, everything from run we did to this run and see how everything's listed. So with that being said, let's go. So it's a list of mania. Ah. Let's list it. So you go to, so from your homepage, wherever your homepage looks like, go to selling, go to listing. And then I'm just gonna put in what I put in before. Valentine's Day mug with Teddy Bear. Nothing's gonna pop up. So then you have to make your own. I put used unless it's new, like something in the box. Um, then you're gonna take some pictures of it. So let's take, let's take this picture first, just like that. Then we'll take that picture, just like that. And then we'll show the back side so you know it's not messed up. And then you gotta add some specifications. It's gonna ask for brand, condition. Um, most of the time I just put unbranded unless it's like a legit brand. Um, this is red. Um, and then what I do is I just have AI come up with something because usually it's better than mine anyway. Um, and then I'm gonna title the Valentine's Day gift for significant other mug with teddy bear. Coffee mug with teddy bear. I feel like that might be good. Let's see. And then usually, oh wow, like this one gives us a medium price. I'm just gonna put, let's put 12.50. Let's no, you know, let's just put 13. Let's put 13 dollars. And uh, then you go to list your item. And cool, now we got a little package deal. A little package dealio. Alright, I'm just gonna do the same thing over and over again. Take a picture. I like to find one of the shoulder. And then you'll click on it. And then it'll pop up when I have multiple. It doesn't have multiple. I like this. And you can sell one like this. And then it'll have a lot of things pre uh, pre generated in there already. Pre in there, and it does work. So work with it. And you need those two. That one's a little different. I'm also going to take a picture of this little bit. Me. Just so, you know, I'm going to get something else, but if not, um, because they come back and say, oh, let me show that. It's on post, so, um, anybody show it, they're going to show it, so, um, you know, up front, and, you know, I'm going to talk about it. Photos. Photo showcases the damage. You can have that perfect look. You know, just to transfer all the people to the new classes. So, so, see, I'll be able to have a good percentage, and you'll be able to get a good one. So, that's how it works. Oh snap, this is for the Wayne Gretzky jersey. Ah, 75, brother. 
make a counter offer. Make a counter offer. Make a counter offer. 95. Let's do 95. I'll submit a counter offer. 95 is probably the lowest I can take that. That was my uncle's jersey. Um, yo, may he rest in peace, but 75. Can't do 75, brother. Can't do 75, brother. That's a, that's a low ball. That's a low ball for sure. I just want to show you all. all right we just listed everything everything you see here one two three four well one two three four five six seven eight nine ten items okay we paid twenty four dollars for I just want to put this into perspective let's see 13 plus 7 plus 12 plus 14 plus 15 plus 15 plus 10 plus 13.50 plus 20 plus 15. Now, if we get the actual asking price for everything here, we pay 24, so it's minus 24, we get $110 profit. Two hours work, three hours work. And this was a very small load today. Again, I only had like 25, 30 bucks on me. Um, so obviously I could have gotten 10 more things. These two alone, you know, were, I mean, everything from this side over was $9 together. This right here was uh, 15. So, I mean, most of my money went into these two, but think about it, I could have had five more, six more mugs, 10 more mugs. Um, so, $110 potential profit, even if we only make half of that, right? Let's divide that by two, call 55 bucks. Um, I mean, that's a win in my book, man. I mean, you're making profit. So listen, let's keep it going here on Thrift Talk, okay? I'm gonna talk to y'all now. I'm gonna talk to y'all right now. Y'all start doing this, make some money. Say it, come in, do it on the side. You have a couple little pieces? I know you can do it. Subscribe, man, if y'all haven't. Hit that subscribe button. We have so many things we're doing. So many things we're going to do. I need y'all to pay attention. I need y'all to be here and watch some content. But until next time, there's only one thing you can do. And if y'all don't know, it's Lift Love Crush 8. But until next time, we out. That's usually when the camera turns, but you know, I'll do it myself.